you, you talked earlier about the way that we often think of tolerance. And generally the way that we think about it is, is not giving but taking it, just kind of accepting, letting it wash over you, whatever the metaphor is that we use. And when we talk about it in terms of, of race or difference, we often mean ex not accepting even, but generally uh, abiding the existence of somebody else's difference, which doesn't feel very good if you're a different person, that the, that the person on the other side of you is simply tolerating your existence. Uh, so why even talk about this in terms of tolerance? The power, you mean? Yes. The power, what I'm talking about is I was trying to distinguish the connotation of the use of the word here, that it's not that kind of tolerance, but it is a tolerance of a higher order. But are you saying that, they, that, that, that there is really for you only one kind of tolerance? You don't exactly. practice the other kind? No. No. Actually, I don't even grin and bear it. Like I said, the, the second grade is you adapt to a situation and the third grade is you sell through a situation. So there might be situations where I have to adapt and learn from it and there might be situations I'm sailing through. But I'm never really even in the first one. Leave alone the ground zero of tolerance is just you tolerating someone else's racial differences. Um, at some point, if you consider people to be spiritual beings, you notice that they is like, like a car has a year, make, model. They have all of these different things. And so as a spiritual person, the labels we put on is just that, a label. And so I feel nowadays it's not just about being, not being racist or not being something, but all of these labels that we, whether it's um, sexist or racist or um, um, bigotry or whatever it is that we are able to go beyond all of that and that we are able to stay in that state of being and I for me that's how I know someone is a spiritual person is if they are able to stay in that state and so in that state of consciousness you can actually adapt to a situation and you can actually sail through a situation because you're in a different consciousness it how is it that you think we wound up, especially with the word, associating it with much more the grin and bear it end of the continuum than the, the sail through it? And how, how societally did we get there? Um, I, I feel like everything um, in society is a matter of education. You know, what we know and accepted in the 70s, we got ourselves educated and we um, know and accept differently, whether it's in terms of race, whether it's really mundane things. Two, uh, here it's about spiritual power. It's a power of the spirit that is going to actually make you happy or peaceful like we were talking about the last time. And so because this is about a spiritual thing, we are taking it to a higher level, not just at the level that people understand it, but there is an education involved in it and there is an information about it and there's a knowledge base that you can actually use to go to that higher level. So in the, in the case of someone who has a significant difference, and Brahma Kumaris have in this society, they're different, they're, they're not majority, they're not what we would call mainstream. Uh, and so there are people who will say, and they will say proudly, and without intent to, to be dis, uh, disparaging, that they think it's just fine if we can tolerate the existence of the Brahma Kumaris and the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Muslims and the Christians and whoever else is out there. Tolerance in that case, uh, being short of love or spirituality or any of the other things that you're talking about, but uh, intending to be complementary from, uh, from the person who might say it. Uh, how do you answer that as, as, a, as a person whose difference is being tolerated in that way? Because <laughs> in this case, it's not grin and bear your existence. Right. Uh, it's just, yeah, we, we accept them too. Right. Uh, I guess I'm not sure I should say this, 
but then you absolutely should. <laughs> I just think it's your problem if you have an issue with me <laughs> because I don't have an issue with them. And my happiness is dependent on the issues I have. My happiness is not dependent on the issues other people have. If that's their issue, that's their problem. Um, but what is it that you give to them? So in, in a, when, when we talk about giving, I need something if I'm turning to you and saying, Shireen, I'll, I'll tolerate you. <laughs> it's okay. You can be different. What is it that I need from you in that moment? Respect. And what's the, what respect. are you likely to give me? Respect. What does that look like? <clears throat> that I accept you internally first and then of course verbally afterwards is that you are my brother. We are children of the same parent. We are sharing the same planet. We are breathing the same air. And all said and done, scientifically it's proven that all our DNAs are very similar, <laughs> whether you believe in Jehovah's Witness or the Brahma Kumaris or anyone else. And so I would go from that place of respect, of that compassion and understanding and care for the person and then also say something to that if it's something to you know it's nice to meet you and it's nice to know if they are let's say people of some faith like Jehovah's Witness I would use the word God and say it's nice to know meet people who have values who have a connection with God who have a relationship with God and I'm very pleased to meet you because I would really actually pleased be pleased to meet them even though in a moment they might be saying something that isn't especially pleasing. Um, the pleasing or not pleasing, I try not to put a value judgment on what people say to me. <laughs> it's all right if it's, it's their, like I said, it's their problem. I have to figure out what I have to give at that moment, not what they're saying to me. But it's not a value judgment to determine that somebody is either being patronizing or insulting. Sometimes it's pretty clear. Yes, it is very clear. Um, but it's still, I, I don't know, it doesn't seem to bother me that much. 